Hey, hey, everybody, Kevin here with Pursuing Pixels, and welcome back to another edition of Save It for the Cast. And as per usual, I'm going to kick things over to uh, John Randall and I. We got the whole trio together this week for uh, some Save It for the Cast conversation. This week, we do lean into some video game stuff. We're kind of all over the map per usual, but kind of talk about some uh, backwards compatibility, mostly on the Xbox and how great it is on that platform and our anxiety over... uh, whether our Nintendo Switch libraries are going to carry over to whatever uh, Nintendo's next platform inevitably ends up being. I feel like it's, you know, the ever everybody's talking about the Switch Pro or Switch 2 or whatever. I feel like that's been like an ongoing rumor for years or like half of a decade practically at this point. But eventually it's going to come around and it's just like, oh, man, I really hope all of our digital purchases or for that matter, even like the cartridges end up uh, plugging in because all of us have a pretty extensive uh, physical Switch collection at this point. But uh yeah, before I kick things over to uh, the rest of us for some uh, chit chat, I did want to talk about some of the stuff that I've been playing or mostly getting up to uh, over the last week or so, because we've all been super busy. I know we've mentioned a little bit. Uh, Randall was in town uh, here in Michigan. Uh, you know, that's where he and I met way back in our Best Buy days. Uh, and he was back in town and it was the first time I had seen him in eight years. And obviously we're going to save like the catching up and the reminiscing uh, for a future proper episode of the podcast. And that's sort of the dilemma. I'm in. a lot of the stuff that I've been playing lately. I'm like, oh, I want to talk about that with John or oh, I want to talk about that with Randall or oh, I want all of us to get in on this because I know we've all been playing a lot of the uh, new retro stuff on the Nintendo Switch online, uh, the Game Boy stuff that is. I've been playing a lot of uh, Wario Land 3, but I know we've even touched on the Wario Land series and I think even Wario Land 3. I can't remember now if it was two or three uh, that we had touched on on the podcast in the past, but I've been really chipping away hard at that game ever since they added the Game Boy stuff. But Again, I feel like that's kind of, you know, ripe for conversation between uh, Randall, John and I. So I'm like, ah, there's too much stuff like I don't want to dig into too much yet. But uh, yeah, again, like Randall was in town for two weeks. And then right after he left, I actually went back to Chicago. Uh, Our buddy Glenn, who we've mentioned numerous times on the podcast, was in town from Seattle, oddly enough. So it's like all just a serendipitous like three weeks here where it's just like, oh, let's let me go see all my friends in one uh, fell swoop. Um, and yeah, we got a few good hangs in with our buddy, uh, Glenn. Thankfully, uh, John and his wife, Lauren were kind enough to let me crash with them for a couple nights, a few nights actually, I think. And, uh, yeah, we got some good gaming in over there as well. We got some good multiplayer Mario party sessions in again, leaning into that Nintendo switch online stuff with the Nintendo 64 games. You're like, we were like, you know what? We've never really played, or at least I've never really played a lot of the Nintendo 64 stuff online other than the, the few games that we've touched on here on the podcast, but definitely not the multiplayer aspect. So we were like, you know, what? we're all just hanging out. We had plans to go out the one night and we ended up just staying in and ordering some grub and uh, playing some video games over at John's. And yeah, we ended up playing a few rounds of uh, Mario Party 1 and 2. And it's kind of crazy. I never realized that there was like this all these extra modes where you can just like run around a board and, uh, you know, you still step on either the red or the blue tiles to just like help determine whether it's going to be a two versus two or a four player mini game or, a, you know, one versus three, depending on the color that everybody lands on. But apart from that, you're not collecting coins or anything from from the tiles. That is, you're still getting them from the games, but it's like essentially just like a mini game challenge mode. And like we would play Mario Party over at my cousin Brandon's all the time growing up Uh me, my brother and my cousin, Brandon. And then sometimes like our sisters would get in on it, too. But uh, yeah, we would just play like even the shortest game that you could pick, I think was 20 turns. And it's like that took an eternity, especially if you're playing with four players or we just be like, come on, why is the computer taking so long? Or why do we have to watch them go through all their decisions and maneuvers and whatever? But uh, anyways, it was really like a blast from the past playing some of those. And it was really funny because like it, growing up, my cousin Brandon had Mario Party 2 and we had Mario Party 1. I think he might have had both of them, but we never had uh, Mario Party 2 at, in our household growing up. So like going over there and like playing that version was like, oh, this is such a better version of Mario Party. Like because uh, pretty much just because the characters would like change into a costume that like suited the board, you know, if it was like an outer space, they'd be wearing astronaut suits or Wild West, they're wearing cowboy hats and stuff. But that was really the main reason because I was shocked. Like a lot of the mini games are actually just like the same exact mini game uh, from Mario Party One, but just just, you know, with a facelift or some kind of cosmetic change to the scenery or whatever. But for the most part, it's like pretty much the same mini game. There's there's a bunch of new ones, too. But yeah, it was really fun. Just kind of more than anything reminiscing about some of those games but still it was a lot of fun and I do miss the days of Mario Party where it was just like the happening star the coin star and the mini game star at the end of every round 
because it was just like, okay, who landed on the most green spaces, which is total luck. But then coins and mini games, it's like, hey, even if I didn't get lucky throughout the game, like John, who got three hidden space stars in, <laughs> in one game, it's like, okay, I can still gain some ground and steal a star here and there if I get enough coins. And I don't know, I just, I definitely had a blast playing those. And then uh, one of the other reasons, apart from going to see our buddy Glenn, who was going to be in town, I kind of postponed my Chicago trip. I was thinking of going earlier in the year, but I was like, okay, I got to gotta sync up with uh, Glenn if he's going to be in town so you know, soon after I, or, you know, so close to when I want to be there. Cause I did have to get the rest of my equipment out of our band's practice space, uh, which I still have a couple straggler things left over there, but I got pretty much everything out of there. All my guitar amps, all my, uh, the couple extra guitars I still had over there, the PA system, just all the extraneous gear, my drum set, most of my drum set. There's a couple pieces I still got to go get, uh, but I'm really excited to have that stuff back. And I actually ended up going over to my brother's today to drop the drum set off over at his place because uh, he plays a little bit. And we were, we've we been talking about trying to get back into jamming a little or just noodling around. So we're like, why don't we start the process here? And then since I went over there, we we're like, hey, why don't we play some video games? And we ended up playing a little Tony Hawk uh, one and two. I think I might have even mentioned that I picked that up for him uh for Christmas this year because it was on sale at Best Buy for like 17 bucks. And actually, the last couple of times I've gone to Best Buy, at least at the time of recording this, that seems to be like their standard price for that game. I keep seeing it for $16.99 on the shelf, physical copy. So if for whatever reason you want to pick up Tony Hawk uh, Pro Skater 1 and 2, at least at, at the one that I go to here in Michigan, I guess I should caveat that. Sometimes the closeout clearances are, you know, at store, in-store specific or whatever, but yeah, we played a few rounds of that, and it's actually kind of crazy thinking back to that game, too. It's like, I feel like we used to just do these huge, massive combos, and now it's like, it's, it was just such muscle memory with that game, because I cannot string together a combo in this game to save my life. They have changed a few things, like you got to level up your character and buff up the stats for certain things, it seems, uh, and play like sort of the career mode or whatever, but... We were just kind of chipping away, split screen multiplayer and still having a blast. It, for the most part, the muscle memory comes back, but we played most of those games. My brother and I, we had uh, the Tony Hawk series of games for the most part on the PlayStation, uh, PlayStation 1, that is, and maybe even on to PlayStation 2 after that. But for whatever reason, like the DualShock controller feels like the dedicated controller for Tony Hawk. So I'm still like getting used to the feel and everything and whatnot. Like it just feels sort of weird to hit like B on a Nintendo controller as like the primary button. It, that's like, feels like back, uh, but that's like your Ollie and everything. So uh, yeah, just taking a little getting used to, it, but we definitely had a blast ripping through some of those levels. And then we actually ended up playing a little PGA 2K 21. So I'm getting a little 2K of my own in Randall uh, and John actually funny enough, uh, funnily enough, uh, Randall gets into some NBA 2K 21 on the switch on this, uh, towards the end of the save it for the cast episode here in the chit chat that we get into. But, uh, yeah, my brother and I started playing a little, uh, PGA 2k 21. He and I, and our cousin Mike, uh, growing up used to just play tons of, uh, whatever, you know, Tiger Woods game or whatever the golf, even Mario golf, we would just play tons of that and, and Madden as well. But that for a while we were really, really dedicated to the, uh, the golf games and just golf in general. Uh, I haven't played in so long golf in real life that is, or, uh, video game form other than a Mario, uh, golf game that is, but yeah, it's pretty fun. PGA 2k 21 on switch. It definitely is not the prettiest looking game. Like <laughs> there was like, I don't know what course we were playing, but it was like the water just looked absolutely atrocious. Obviously that's not really what you're coming to the Nintendo switch for, but it really was like, you know, like pre PS2 level graphics in a lot of ways, but the golf itself felt pretty great. It was still took a little getting used to same thing here. We played a lot of our uh, golf gaming on PlayStation as well. The Tiger Woods games. So like that, the way they do the golf games now, it's not so much that like golf meter that you start, stop, start again or stop again or whatever to like line up the alignment of your stroke or whatever. It's more like you pull the joystick back and then you push it forward and it's all about the timing and the alignment of that and it really takes some getting used to we played a full 18 holes and I think I shot uh 30 over par or something like that and I mean I'm usually pretty decent at these golf games and just video games in general you know I kind of know what I'm doing and we were like fidgeting through the menus and trying to select stuff and it's like man if you've never played a video game before which I do feel like you know for sports games though a lot of people do maybe only play like the golf games or the you know whatever sports they're maybe interested in or you know just maybe only play a handful of games and just navigating the menus and like even to like confirm your selection it's like push in the right joystick it's like man if you don't have that familiarity with a a game controller and like some of the more modern uh uses of the controller i guess cuz even like pushing in a joystick is pr pretty unintuitive if you haven't had to do that in a game before um, and have it, you know, explicitly spelled out for you. 
Um, but regardless of some nitpicks and whatever, it was still a pretty fun game. It's not one that I would rush out and buy by any means. Uh, you know, part of me was like, oh, maybe this will be a little, uh, you know, scratch that itch that I was hoping Mario Golf would. But unfortunately, it still was just like, hey, it's another golf game. Uh, granted, it's a couple years old at this point, but it's definitely like, OK, I, I don't know where I need to get my video game golf fix from, but uh, it's not from uh, <laughs> it doesn't seem like it's going to be on the Nintendo Switch. Uh, that's for sure. But, uh, but yeah, I've done enough rambling here at the intro. So why don't I kick things over to uh, John Randall and I for some chit chat? And uh, yeah, until next week, we'll catch you then and take care. Giving a rundown on my poppy ingredients here. I'm drinking a raspberry rose, 5% juice. We got uh, sparkling water, organic cane sugar, organic apple cider vinegar, organic agave inulin, uh, raspberry juice, natural flavors, lemon juice, and stevia. And that's it. Not yeah, so bad. Maybe I don't love stevia. Honestly. Yeah, I was gonna say maybe the like apple cider vinegar like counteracts that. Like, but usually like when something like either has stevia or aspartame or whatever like alternative to sugar they have, yeah. like it it just ruins the whole drink for me. Yes, it I, comes right through most of the time. Mm-hmm. I would say I agree with that, but yeah, the stevia I would say is like I like I was kind of actually surprised. I I had read that before, so I remembered it as I read it, but I kind of forgot that that's even in there. Nice. They're just re- particularly the raspberry rose and the strawberry lemon are just phenomenal. No booze. I was like my stomach not not feeling it tonight. How you feeling? Uh. Uh, for the new year and stuff, Randall, how was your holiday and stuff? We just jumped on about a second ago. Oh, good. Yeah, it was just super, super laid back that way. It good. was good. Took nice. off uh, kind of the week leading up to Christmas, I guess. Took that week off. So that was that was cool. Okay, nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. That's always so. good, like getting geared up for the holidays and stuff. Just, yeah, having some low key downtime. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm I'm also um, drinking um, brandy and um, also uh, with Coke Zero, which has a Ooh. fake sugar in it. But it's it's they must have spent millions of dollars because you just can't taste the fake sugar. And I I just I'm one of those people that just picks it out immediately, and I can't with this. The Coke is, Zero and like I think Pepsi Max, whatever like alternative. Yeah, they, yeah those are the only yeah. ones that like yeah doesn't like it's it still tastes different, but it's not like diet they can like drown it drown right. it out in cola chemicals no it's definitely not cola. diet there's a completely different product than diet like diet yeah is like, diet cool. diet is a weird flavor yeah. yeah anything that's like diet i'm just like i just it, it's just weird yeah and it's that fake sugar it's usually aspartame yep mm-hmm. um which is i think not good for you <laughs> not that sugar is either right yeah what's so your it's like if it's your, something you're your having poison. daily yeah you gotta yeah but I feel like these like these hit the spot in a way that like a like a Fago soda would. And I'm like, yeah. it, it, probably not quite as like sugary and syrupy and whatever. But like as I'm drinking it, like there's not there's no part of me that thinks like, oh, I'm having a healthy soda. That's not as good as a regular soda. Yeah. I enjoy. I'm just like, man, I freaking love these things. man. It's like a Fago soda expen- remaster, right? It's like what you remember Fago being, but it's right. actually a lot healthier for you now. It's and Fago better. Shredder's Revenge. <laughs> <laughs> the best part of the- I'm out. <laughs> good pod the best part though is they're even more expensive than like a beer you know like when you well, get like a six pack or like yeah. a four packs like nine bucks or something for these so yeah yeah like 250 a can if you get them solo it's like man a beer is cheaper than you know i could be getting a buzz but whatever that, that they do make your stomach feel good the pre they're prebiotic not mm. probiotic mm. so yeah, i don't know the difference other than i assume the pre is you know p- pre instead of post but um, yeah i guess yeah. i don't know Someone has a lot of postbiotics. I actually don't know the difference. Yeah, probably just buzzwords. They're just like, "I'll oh, call it a prebiotic instead." People <laughs> think it's something new. Exactly. You know? That's because isn't four G not like 
you can't have 4G, but they put the as like 3G is like the limit. And then they're like, well, it, it's better. And we have to tell people that it's better than 3G. So let's just call it 4G and people will know. <laughs> it's like that's sort of that's interesting because they told LTE. Yeah. When I got my new uh, phone, which was like probably about a year ago now, maybe a little bit less, maybe maybe six months ago. But they were telling me like. Hey, your dad, because we're all on like a family plan, and they were like, "Hey, t- you know, tell your dad his phone, like he needs to upgrade, like because they're just gonna like not service his type of phone anymore." But he still uses it, and it seems to work fine, or at least as good as any of our phones. We all have kind of we have T-Mobile, and it's the service is kind of shitty, to be honest. At yeah. least where I've had, I you know, in the areas that I've used it in, it doesn't seem to be like there's definitely spots in the house here that just you know. Oh, don't don't make a phone call there because you might drop. You know, it's just like, come on, that shouldn't in the middle of like a decently populated town in Michigan that probably shouldn't be happening on 5G (laughs) cell service. Right. Uh, That that was kind of something I was talking to my father in law at the holidays when I had a real good buzz going. Um, (laughs) Yeah. But mostly like about like just dead satellites up in the atmosphere and how it was like, that was our generation's ocean where it's like, yeah, we just (laughs) dump it there. There's infinite space. Like that's right. There's no like consequences. No consequences. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Oh man. They'll never come back down to earth randomly. Right. It's not like we have entire infrastructure that's built around like free unlimited space (laughs) surrounding us. Yeah. Uh, what a uh, great land landfills fucking... in space, baby. Dude. Can't wait. Yeah. Can't wait. Uh, feel like feel like this can almost s- pseudo lead into your uh <laughs> dog oh, conversation yeah. later. Oh, for sure. <laughs> so, yeah, what what episode do we want that bummer on? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, too funny. Too that could funny. be its own thing, shoot. Yeah, yeah for God. real. For real. I don't want it to be its own thing. I want to talk <laughs> about nice things. I want to have a good time with my friends. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Man, I've been playing a ton of good games, man. Like, nice. I just kind of leaned into the break and, like, we've been in the middle of, uh, like, really getting, like, the house in order. Like, today we had to, like, move everything off the walls to, like, get painted tomorrow and Saturday mm. uh, for, like, the addition. And then, like, the flooring is going to come in after that. So, like, when I've been not helping out with that, I've just been, like, all right, I guess I'm just going to play some games in my room and like play the stuff that I got for Christmas or the stuff I bought with like my gift cards. I think I put the list in like the discord of like all those games I snagged on the e-shit like with 40 bucks. I grabbed like seven or eight games that, that like, you know, would have been like probably because cl- especially because that Panzer Dragoon is like a twenty five dollar game. Yeah, otherwise. 20 yeah. bucks. But to get that for two fifty, have you played it at all yet, John? Or? No, I haven't because I've well, I was going to say I've run out of space on my switch. <laughs> yeah, and that's a big that one took a long time to download, too, because I was like I that was the first one I snagged. And then I like picked up a few other games and I was like, oh, OK, I'll fire that up or I'll fire up whatever game. And I was like, oh, shit, Panzer's still downloading. I guess I'll guess I'll wait on that. And I actually that actually prompted me to do like a big, like massive archive of like basically anything that I don't think I'm going to fire up anytime soon where I don't mind waiting a few minutes to download it. And I'm just like, OK. This doesn't need to be on my SD card ready to fire up. You know, I don't need to have, I don't know. I can't think of a good example of a game, but don't need to have it at the ready. Yeah. Speaking of spotty wireless internet switch. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) For real. That's real. (laughs) Honestly, like me, like running into the like SD card limit on the switch is like, you know what? Maybe I'm just not going to buy any more games on the Switch just while I we don't I have no idea if that library is going to oh. make it over to a Switch Pro and I'm like I, it's just like a game of chicken and I'm like all right it is. I'm getting neon yeah. white and bug snacks and that's it like everything else <laughs> is either Steam or Epic just cuz like I yeah. doubt those companies are going to I don't know change their whatever Ugh. Yeah, for literally how I feel about Xbox that's yep. why I, yeah. I trusted that more over time because they've proven it to me. Yeah, they've proven it and even like gone back to like make sure that like previous, you know, stuff can work or whatever, like even, you know, original Xbox, like they've gone above and beyond because they're mm-hmm. PC like, okay. games, basically, when it comes right, right down right. to it. Yeah, same, that's true. That's true. Approach. <laughs> but it is kind of nice to just be like, like, if I were to run into a game that I had that wasn't backwards compatible or for whatever reason, like wasn't available on the shop, I'd be like, OK, whatever they, you know, they did their best for whatever reason. This one couldn't 
come right. over because of licensing issues or, you know, whatever yeah. the issue might be. It's like I'll cut them some slack where like it's Nintendo's just like, eh, we'd rather we'd rather nickel and dime you for, uh, you know, another generation. <laughs> Buy basically. Link's Awakening on your fifth platform. <laughs> hey, it runs. It runs at the full 30 frames per second oh. on the new Switch Pro. Oh. You just have to buy the upgrade. Oh, Oh, man, uh, yeah. I, I have a feeling because I, I did read some like I think it was just like some little I don't know. It's probably like a Nintendo Life article and I just skimmed it or whatever. I can't remember. I saw it like on, you know, social media somewhere, but it was saying like Nintendo, you know, obviously wants to make sure they avoid like the Wii, Wii U conundrum. <laughs> so I got to think I'll believe it gonna... when I see it. <laughs> Me too. Like Me too. I, Nintendo has not done it. You, like has not given me reason to believe that they will ever do the smart thing like from it moving is, from one it generation kinda, to the next the kind thing it, anyway yeah it is kind of hard to imagine like a new console coming out that uses those cartridges i don't know why but it's just kind of hard to imagine that would so bum me Nintendo out has never it would really bum me out the only the only systems that kept the same format were Wii and wii u GameCube to Wii, Wii to Wii U, yeah. But GameCube if had the count, mini discs, like. But it's, it, you could still play them. On you could Wii still at the play them, least. but they weren't the same. Like, yeah, like it didn't really matter you about could, backwards compatibility for, like, yeah. They've been a little better with the handheld stuff, I guess, because like the Game Boy Advance Game could Boy, play yeah. Game Boy and Game Boy. But Color, they still like, had to do, like they still had to change it. Like, they, there's yeah. no reason that they have to make. They had to a, like ditch like, it at some proprietary point. sized like media for mm-hmm. each console. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like and especially no now, reason. like at this point, like if you're putting Breath of the Wild or whatever on it, I mean, I guess well, whatever they can, I'm sure they could make a Switch cartridge that size and fit way more on it you know if they oh, yeah. even just even oh, yeah. just between from when the switch released like, to now like, an it's sd crazy card how quick that yes stuff. like there are terabyte micro sd cards pretty yeah, easily yes. available <laughs> it's what i kind of forgot like i was i was transferring some video files from like just to like my it's just a regular like solid state hard drive or whatever like not even a portable one, so nothing fancy. But I forgot that that's like a ten terabyte hard drive. I was like, I wonder if I have enough room in here. I was like, oh, geez, okay, I got plenty of room. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah, when I uploaded, uh, when I was, I think I t- yeah, I texted you guys in the Discord or whatever. When I edited that last uh, episode, not the save it for the cast, but the previous one, like I always like highlight each person's file, and then you can like join all the regions together. And for whatever reason, when I did that with John's, it just like erased like half of his dialogue. Like yeah, it would just be right. like the tail end of some of his senses. But then I, I truly, I did his first before mine and yours. So, and mine and yours were fine, Randall. So I was like, I don't really know what could have caused that other than I did notice that my hard drive was getting pretty close to full. Mm. So I was like, maybe that. Yeah. So I was like, I'm just not, maybe I just won't join the regions anymore. Cause it's, it's just something that I do like, cause it makes it easier to like move the whole thing at the end when I'm making like the final tweaks. Sure. But, I was like, man, I don't want to take any chances. It's like a, it's a good thing I checked. And honestly, I only noticed because you're like, hey, at the beginning just wasn't there. And I was like, oh, did I miss the did I forget to like grab that first very beginning part? And I was like, oh, wait, why isn't John responding to anything? <laughs> what a jerk. <laughs> He's Come on. But thankfully, like I only made a couple like shifts throughout the episode, like where I, you know, like made a cut and like trimmed a gap or whatever so i was like i was able to kind of like look at the visuals and like kind of line things up and th- and thankfully it didn't erase everything so i was able to look at like the little cues and okay there's that let me line that up make sure everything else kind of lines up but i was like oh my god it took so long to do Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> headache and a half Woof. but turned out a good episode for sure i like good episodes indeed but uh yeah what are we feeling uh for tonight so analog pocket slash Metroid Zero Mission mm. and mm. Battle Circuits, assuming we are going to do two Pursuing Pixels yeah, which, episodes tonight. Yeah, which we can, but definitely don't have to. I don't I didn't want to be presumptuous about that, but definitely down to if we want to. Yeah, I'd be down. Yeah. Yeah, me too. All right. Put so our nose to the grindstone. That's right. Yeah, which will be good because next week's episode, I'm going to do the holiday episode and that's the last one that we have recorded technically so <clears throat> it'll be good to have a little put a little padding in there right. oh before we get off track or before i forget to ask randall when did you say you were coming to town uh to michigan again uh february 
first through the 14th. Oh, perfect. Yeah, yeah. perfect. Like literally perfect. My buddy, uh, our buddy Glenn uh, had texted and he was like, hey, Kev, I'm going to be in town or texted all of us saying he was going to be in Chicago like mid February. Nice. And he was like, he was like, if you want to try to sync up and coordinate when I'm in town. And I was like, oh, yeah, I definitely want to. But I was like, it's probably been about 10 years since I've seen Randall. And I was like, he's going to be in town in February. So I was like, if it ends up lining up on those days, then maybe not. But he's going to be in town for a week, too. So I was like, I either way, I was like, I probably can juggle it. So yeah. But that works out perfect. That's sweet. That should be able to easily do both. That'll be awesome. Yeah. I know. It's going to be a bit whirlwindy, but we're <laughs> glad we're doing it. It's long overdue. So, yeah. When's the last time you guys made a Michigan trip? Uh, uh, Tina and I went to Michigan when my cousin got married in, um, oh gosh, uh, uh, 20, ooh, would that be 2018, 2017? 16 somewhere okay. in there <laughs> been a hot minute for it's been sure. a while yeah. yeah yeah nice yeah and what's the occasion this time just uh overdue to visit just overdue. and there's yeah. lots of older family members that have never seen fiona in person oh nice nice yeah. that'll be fun yeah that's, that's assuming assuming you're looking forward to seeing the fam and stuff but yeah yeah for sure it's going to be it's going to be a lot considering um, being a product uh, of multiple um, parent divorces means there's lots of families. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, so that's always interesting logistically. Um, yeah. But, you know, it'll be cool. It'll be nice. Yeah. Honestly, I mean, even just having like once you're like married, you know, when like my cousins or now that my brother's married on the holidays, it's like, oh, half the holiday here. OK, now we got to run over to the in-laws oh, yeah. or whatever. It's mm-hmm. like that's just our even just that alone seems like a hassle. Uh huh. Like, thankfully, a lot of holidays have like a Christmas Eve and well, I guess not that many have an Eve and a regular <laughs> holiday. But I like it. We always just kind of split the two holidays up so people didn't have to scramble around. Mm-hmm. Yes. But, John, you're leaning into uh, the tower and uh, bug snacks. Yeah, I'll do. They'll split those into two separate for me, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and then I'll probably talk like about that Terzhenev study game from Punk Cakes. Since yeah. I got kind of hooked on that while I was uh, deciding if I wanted to keep my vertical mouse or not. Went on a little vertical mouse journey. Hell yeah. Um, over the last few days. And then maybe I'll talk. Do you, Randall, did you get the Klonoa Fantasy Reverie series? No, I, I, I've i eyeballed it very hard when it was on okay. sale, uh, but didn't pull the trigger. Because I was going to say, I could easily wait on that. I could, because I, I played some more Streets of Rage 4, actually. I got that physically for uh, Christmas. Um, so nice. I could pair that. I could pair that with your battle circuit. I was just kind of like, you know what? I've got the the TMNT, and I was like, I love Streets of Rage four quite a bit. So I was like, I, I should own that. Fi-. And it was like twenty five bucks. So I was like, okay, that seems like a worth. I mean, I got it for as a gift, so I didn't pay for it. But is that that uh, was cheap enough anniversary edition deal? Is that that? It's one? got that. It's got like the Mister X yeah, DLC yeah. or whatever. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, I was like, okay, I was like, and it was one that we had, uh, when we played it, it was on Game Pass, or at least that's how I was playing it, so I was like, oh, I don't, you know, I don't own that game, so I was like, it would be nice to actually have it, you know? Oh, um, yeah. I, 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 I wanted to own that physically as well. Ab- yeah, I, that's kind of how I felt, too, yeah, I was just like, I gotta, I gotta own that, but yeah, I, I could talk about, well, actually, yeah, if you're talking the an, uh, analog pocket, I could talk that homebrew stuff, too, that I was uh, going ham on those Matt Houston games or whatever. Yeah. Uh, from below and witch and whiz <clears throat> pardon me and uh what's it called uh minecart madness sorry i got so many games written down here i still haven't played like any of those besides from below but that doesn't stop you from talking about them because there's not much to spoil in any of that <laughs> yeah it would but it would more be just kind of like piggybacking conversational yeah. stuff yeah. if anything yeah sell me on them um which is like I demon them, throttle but. i would i would want to wait on if you haven't played it yet i saw you booted up uh i was like oh randall's on and he was playing nba 21 <laughs> i was like what's going Ooh. on time warp <laughs> I was like, he's he's he couldn't get enough of that Xbox. It was too HD, man. Uh, it's just like works a little stressful. I can't turn on the Xbox. Um, you know, I would go back to my little spreadsheet machine in between meetings or during boring meetings, sort of um, arrangement there. And then I got fired within my first my GM season because I was trying to trade everyone away for future. Picks. Okay, do you, you can't just you can't just drop a phrase like I, then I got fired when you're talking about in between work and like yeah, I, just, I like, definitely I was like I that is. Out at the 
list of bad. games and heard that no, no, panic no, no. for games. a second in too. Games. I was like, shit, dude. In game. I was like, how have you not said anything? Yeah, you buried the lead. We've been talking for 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got fired, by the way. John, Chauncey Billups wasn't happy with my performance. Oh, gosh. Oh, my God. No, no. No. Yeah, yeah, that gave me a little scare as well. You can well. get fired in my GM mode, or is that just yeah, a game yeah. over? No, you, you, you're um, like the the owner like calls you into his limousine and is like, "I'm sorry, this isn't working out." And then you can choose if you want to like bow out gracefully or like throw a shit fit. So, <laughs> of course, I threw a shit fit. Well, yeah, yeah you got it at that point. I mean, what do you do? What else do you do? Like, oh, let me just hit accept. Yeah, I don't think so. That doesn't feel right. Like, no, we had all these draft picks. We were we were on bad. We were bad on purpose. That was the whole point. Oh well. Yeah. What like what do you think a GM's job is when you're underperforming? Is to like that's right. You you need future returns. Yes, uh, all my all my success is theoretical. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Sam Hinkie he died for yeah. our sins. <laughs> oh, it tends to work more than it doesn't, though. For what I'm worth. amazed at how yeah. little tanking there's been this season. I know, like even like the Thunder. Uh, actually, like, let me check like the uh, Spurs record and see if I need to. Take that back. No. They they have one of the worst ones for sure, which is oh, kind of yeah. weird because Popovich is still coaching. He them. did that run at the beginning of the year yeah. where people are like, "Oh, they're actually like competing," and then I th- I haven't heard a word about them since. So I'm assuming <laughs> that they like made a splash like at the begin like first week or two, and then have just backpedaled entirely to tank. Entirely. They just don't have enough talent. They they're just they're yeah. they're young no. and they just don't have enough talent. Yeah, the the NBA is just going yeah. crazy, and they they can't keep up. It's bunk. Yeah, you gotta have Let's like them, straight up all stars across the board. I mean, that it's like Hornets. Yeah, Hornets are terrible. Well, so are the Pistons. Bummer. Um, yeah. Well, uh, yeah, Victor Wembanyama. It's not yeah, so bummer. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> so let's. Wow, Spurs actually have twelve wins on the season. <laughs> I'm surprised with that. I, we're like 40 games in. Yeah, I know. Uh, Rockets, <laughs> uh, Rockets, and oh, yeah, Hornets the Rockets are, are at the at the bottom with 10 wins each. Yeah. Yikes. Oh, John, I, I was just looking in the Discord. You saw that uh, Jamal Williams post, dude. That uh, rule <laughs> that was so good. The Lions running back. Uh, He's apparently a b- pretty big Pokemon fan. Okay. Um, <laughs> he was being interviewed after a game the other day. Uh-huh. And uh, this was his uh, response here. But yeah, it's going to be great in Green Bay. <laughs> James Houston said, James Houston said he was aware that Aaron Rodgers was talking to Smack uh, on national TV about you guys. Did, did you pick up on that? And I don't been talked about I don't watch TV. <laughs> you watch TV? You didn't hear about it? I don't, yeah, I'm trying not to cuss. I don't care. <laughs> I just want to play football and go home. But you're holding me. You're holding me right now. I just want to go home and play Pokemon. We... Go home and play Pokemon? Yeah. Oh. Pokemon. Yeah. Don't do that. You can't disrespect Pokemon like that. <laughs> hey, mom, mom. You sound like I got old. my nephew some Pokemon cards. They're kind of a big deal. Yeah. I don't know what cards you got on. They must have sucked because you, you call it on Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> And he's doing this while wearing a Naruto headband and hoodie. Like oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> I love Which went over my head. I assumed it was some kind of like anime thing, but I didn't yeah. recognize what it was. Oh, that's it's fantastic. like I'm so glad but he is hilarious. we've got a, a generation of of nerds who are like just regular, like cool athletic people or whatever. Like uh, It makes sense yeah. though. Video yeah. games have been part of the culture so long that why wouldn't that yeah. be the case now? You know? yeah. Exactly. I love it, man. I was like, I already like this guy, but he's he's a really good running back. But I was like, now he's probably my favorite player on the team. He's like, they, there's a bunch of like mic'd up clips of him and just in general. And he's just like, you know, just BS and nonstop. Everybody appears to love him. I'm like, he's a, what a great guy. It's like, why do I have to give a shit? I'm making yeah. millions of dollars <laughs> to play this. I just want to play football yeah. and play Pokemon. Yeah. yeah. And then I go this. home and play Pokemon. Living the dream. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just love it. He's like, he's like, you guys are, you guys are holding me right now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Oh, I love it. To be a pro athlete. Yeah. (laughs) 
Randall, do you want to kind of start it off with the pocket or with Metroid or just me toss it to you in general? Hey, better, better, swing, better, better. Miss better. Two, uh, it's kind of intertwined, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. I, I just can just say toss words. it to you in general. Yeah. Yeah. I'm happy to have things, you know, be kind of a little more conversational. It doesn't have to be like, oh, it's this, then this, or whatever. This is what happens when you put me at the front. Hey, it's yeah. 2023. Hey. It's going to be <laughs> new, all new Randall year. all the time. New, Jesus. new <laughs> topics. At least I have a little bit of time to play video games compared to before. <laughs> yeah. 